I prefer ginger snap animal crackers. Say no more. Ah! Ah! Too much ginger snap. Boy, I'm sure glad Betty isn't around. She puts everything into that diary of hers. Dear Diary, I saw Archie today in the lunchroom. He sends chills up and down my spine. Quit pushing, Reg. And this afternoon, he actually said something nice to me. It would be nice if you'd quit following me. Until next week, dear Diary, truthfully yours, Betty. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me who's the greatest of them all. You, Regimental, are the greatest of them all. You are also the handsomest, cleverest one of all. Oh, tell me more, Mirror. Tell me more. Yeah, not until you give me that hamburger you promised me. <laughs> oh, hi. I was just looking through my old photo album. Here's a picture of the gang when we were kids. And there's the old school playground. Boy, I'll never forget the time when we... Okay, Jug, you run out and I'll throw you a pass. Hey! <laughs> you give me that ball, you big ox! <laughs> Go and chase it, you little creep. <sighs> Boy, can I kick or can I kick? Give me that. Hey, what... I'll fix that, boy. I'll be right back, Jug. Hey, what are you doing? Spike, you're just the awfulest person in the whole world. Hey, you big bully. You better not kick this ball. Don't tell me what to do. Hey, Arch. What kind of a ball is that? Oh. That's my pop's bowling ball. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. That's a nice doggy. That's a nice doggy. Hi, kids. It's time to learn a new magic trick. We need a piece of paper about three inches square and a dime. Now. Mark out and cut a hole in the paper the same size as the dime, like this. Now, here's the trick. How do you push a quarter through this dime-size hole without tearing the paper? <laughs> I think you'd better let me demonstrate this trick, Sabrina. After all, I've had far more experience than you. Oh, all right. Thank you. Well, this is really very simple, boys and girls. Anyone can do it. It's not difficult at all. Once you... Get the hang of it. It's so <laughs> easy. I could. I think you'd better do it. After all, you need the practice. Okay. As you know, Aunt Hilda, the first thing to do is fold the paper in two, like this. Then we place the quarter inside the fold. Now we hold the paper on the corners and pull them toward each other, and zingo! The quarter falls through. <laughs> Wonderful! 
<laughs> well, I mean, that little trick was all right, my dear. But here's something that will make you rich. Ruby, what's the name of that trick, Auntie? It's called How to Make Big Money. <laughs> Well, what next? What next? I'm glad you asked that, my boy. Here you are, courtesy of the management. A clock? What for? Uh, because it's time. Time? Time for what? Time for the show. Time for the show? What kind of a show? And where do I go? It's a real groovy show, but it's not out in front. And don't look in the back or you'll never end your hunt. It's not up above. And it's not down below. Then it must be a sideshow. Come on, let's go! Why are you standing in front of the mirror with your eyes closed? I want to see how I look when I'm asleep. Hey, Betty, how about a date tonight? No fooling? Well, maybe a little. <laughs> Hello? You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. Who was that? He didn't say. <laughs> Funny? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Hello, is this the beauty shop? Yes, this is the beauty shop. Well, send me over a beauty right away. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a child, I was left an orphan. Really? What did you do with him? <laughs> I'm a twin. Oh, yeah? You and who else? Hello? You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. Who was it? Same guy. Amusing? <laughs> Amusing. Uh, you know, there's one thing I can't eat for supper. What that? Breakfast. What's your name? I don't know. Why not? Because I'm not myself today. Betty, do you know what a myth is? A myth? A myth. Oh, yes. A myth is a female moth. <laughs> Where have you been, Arch? I've been out on a date. With that dirty shirt? No, with a girl. Why is that bell ringing? Because I'm pulling this rope. Laughable? Laughable. Say, Ranch, do you use toothpaste? Toothpaste? What for? My teeth aren't loose. My father's home with a cold. Well, that's better than being home alone. I wish I was home. Archigans, did you hear the story of the end of the peacock? No. It's a beautiful tale. Set the alarm for two. Oh, yeah? You and who else? What is it that flies, holds rocks, and is shaped like a box? <laughs> a flying rocks box. With this special trick coin, <laughs> I can get a soda pop without paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Reggie, you're such a clever... Yo! Oh! My last dime, and I still haven't gotten a drink. Well, here goes. Hey, I finally got one. How about that? Well, open the bottle. Open the bottle. Come on, knucklehead. Open the bottle. Come on, open the bottle. <laughs> should be a real knockout. So, take it away, Big Moose! Uh, uh, hi, kids. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to build up your body by lifting weights. Uh, tune in next week, uh, kids, and I'll show you how to... Um, <laughs> repair floors. Uh, greetings, boys and girls. Tilden Doily here with another one of my inventions. Uh, today, I'd like to show you the foolproof burglar alarm system that I installed in Mr. Weatherby's house. 
That must be a burglar now. He doesn't have a chance, for as he slides over the window, a bottle of water is tipped into a sponge. As the sponge fills up, its weight forces down a lever, tripping a switch, which activates a toaster. The toast pops up, it's a bowling trophy, knocking loose the little ball, which trips open the jack in the box, turning on an electric fan, which blows across the sails of a model ship, which pushes the lead weight off the mantle, which pulls a string attached to a huge picture of a cat, which causes the dog to bark, <laughs> irritating a next-door neighbor who calls the police, who arrive just in time to capture the burglar. And that is the Dilton Doily Invention of the Week. But, 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 officer, this is my house. You see, I lost my key and... Uh... Tell it to the judge, buddy. Uh, <laughs> maybe next time I shall invent a story for Mr. Weatherby. <laughs> But there was only a couple of them then. <laughs> Did you ever see a fish cry? Don't be silly, Ronnie. Fish can't cry. Oh, no. Didn't you ever see whales blubber? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> you 
shaving, Reggie? Sure. I've been shaving for four years. Yeah, and you cut yourself both times. <laughs> What's the most dangerous household animal? The clothes lion. <laughs> I wish I had a nickel for every time I've been kissed. What would you buy? One pack of gum? I left my watch upstairs. Uh, don't worry. It'll run down. I hear you heard sheep. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. Why doesn't the blood rush to my feet when I'm standing up? Because your feet aren't empty. What kind of kiss would you like me to give you? Ah, uh, goodbye, kiss. <laughs> Mary Rose sat on a tack. Mary Rose. I heard you hear sheep. <laughs> Did I hear that right? <laughs> Uh, hey, Arch, what's black and green with red spots and has 12 legs? I don't know. What? I don't know either, but there's one crawling on your collar. <laughs> Veronica just kissed me. Did you kiss her back? No, I kissed her cheek. <laughs> what kind of kites made out of? Fly paper. <laughs> Now there's a real bum. Say, what's the best thing for hives? Bees. Dad, can you write your name with your eyes shut? Sure. Then sign my report card. If I buy 12 buns for five cents, what would they be? Stale. You may be my shadow, but you're a bigger creep than Reggie Mantle. I heard that. Come on, meathead, put up your dupes. Hey, Reg, what do you say we go down to Pops while these two clowns fight? Sure thing, chum. I'll treat you to a hot fudge sundae. Uh, this is the end. <laughs> Giant jukebox, gonna make you